Pornhub has raised more than $230,000 in a stunt crowdfunding drive to produce the world's first sex tape in space. Far from its $3.4 million goal, but still impressive. And yet, the publicity-loving Smut Network's plan may have more fundamental problems than money. We don't know for sure if anyone has ever tried to have sex in space. NASA once did send a married couple, Jan Davis and Mark Lee, on a shuttle mission together, but the now-divorced astronauts have never talked about their efforts after hours. Neither have any of their colleagues around the world. Still, moonlighting NASA scientists and Kinsey Institute researchers have wondered aloud what cosmic coitus might look like. And though no one knows for sure, we do have a general consensus. It would not be pretty. Gravity, it turns out, is pretty essential to sex. Without it, things quickly get complicated. Let's start with simple physiology. Blood flow to the genital region is pivotal for both men and women in sexual intercourse. But in a zero-gravity environment, blood tends to rise to your head and chest. That's not good news for male or female arousal. A Kinsey report cites anecdotal claims of erections in space, but it can't attest to their quality. Without gravity, a fornicating couple would also likely have trouble staying, um, intertwined? Plus, muscles become weaker over time in space, so any kind of unusually stressful activity would likely tire out participants very quickly. The stress of these two factors would likely exacerbate each other. Besides, all the exertion is likely to stir up even more sweat than the Earthbound Act, and sweat in zero-g is a decidedly nasty affair. It clings to the body and builds up in layers without any gravity to run it off. Vaginal moisture is likely to build up the same way. Of course, astronauts might not want to have sex in space in the first place. Male travelers tend to see a decrease in testosterone, and there's the ethically tangled possibility of a space pregnancy. As on Earth, the consequences of the act could be nearly as fraught as trying to make it happen in the first place. So for now, enjoy your 250-mile high club jokes and give to your crowdfunding campaigns. If any of the 540-odd people who have been to space have had sex there, they aren't talking. Yeah.